Hey, what's going on, guys? I want to talk to you if you're an accountant, bookkeeper, tax firm, and you want to build up a ton of retainer clients, business clients, you want to build what I call this outsourced accountant model, we're going to help you now. We do websites, we do paid ads and funnels and remarketing, we do sales copywriting, we help you build a website and a digital presence that will actually close. And I'm going to talk to you about how do you actually build credibility? What are some of these secret things that will cause a website visitor to actually take a step with you? And I get really, um, I get a little frustrated as I look out there and I see all of these accounting um, gurus talk about how they're going to close you $12,000 a month clients and whatnot. The goal in everything that we do, I'm just going to walk you through this, is to remember, no matter what, what we're trying to do is we're trying to help strangers that don't know you become visitors on your stuff where they eventually trust you and they become a lead and eventually become a customer. And when you do this, it's a lot like when you first start dating somebody, right? If you just go running around and say, hey, you want to get married? Hey, you want to get married? To a it's not going to work, right? What we have to do is initially you're going to have a first meeting where you bump into somebody that could be online anywhere. And you're like, Hey, you can make my life better. I can, this, this is good. You're attractive. I'm attractive. Hey, let's have a first meeting. Maybe you exchange some digits, some phone numbers, you slide into the DMS. And next thing you know, you set a little bit of a relationship, get to know each other. You have a first date, a second date, you have a ton of dates and you date. And eventually you have a proposal in a marriage, right? It's not done overnight. And really what we're trying to do is help people go through the buyer's journey of going through curiosity, enlightenment, and commitment. And what that is, is we want to pique their curiosity about how we make their life better and actually solve their problems. Messaging needs to cut through the nonsense and focus on what they want and help them get to where they want to be. Then what's going to happen is once you pique their curiosity, they're going to come and they're going to want to find out, are you credible? Can I trust you? Do you have actual results that you can show? And then last, if they feel like that, they can take small commitments or big commitments. And really what's going to happen here is um, we're going to use advertising and website content and videos and social media content to intersect with people. And eventually they get into your marketing funnel and that could be like a retargeting funnel. It could be that you email them. It could be that they see a bunch of ads. They come back to your website. They listen to your podcast. They watch your YouTube videos, whatever that is. Eventually they enter your sales funnel where you have their information. You're going to call on them and eventually they become a customer. This is a healthy sales relationship. That's where you start. If you actually want people to close with you because they've been on your website, you need to embrace this path and that means you have to do some things to actually get in front of them. Now, I think there's three parts to this whole thing. Now, this is on my How It Works page, but number one, you want to build a high converting website and footprint. So that's your YouTube channel. It's your website. It's everything. And this is like building a better mousetrap that actually makes sales. The second thing is, is you want to generate traffic and market share, which is a lot like buying seed for a farm. Once you've built the tractor and bought the field, you have to fill your capacity. So these are the two major things that you're going to do. The third would be building up credibility through search engine optimization and content. You want to position yourself as an authority. Well, the best way to do that is create authoritative content, kind of like what I'm doing with you here, right? Videos, blog posts, everything like that. Now, what I'm going to do real quick is I want to talk about how do you build a high converting website so that people actually take a step with you. Okay, on the bottom here, you have how it looks. It needs to be clean, have a responsiveness to it so it works on every device. There should be an authentic look to it. It shouldn't be filled with stock photography. It shouldn't not look like your clients. It should look like you and your clients. You should have photos of you, your locality, your region, your niche, whatever that is. There should be an authentic look to it. I shouldn't wonder if it's just a template CPA site solution website or some of these just nonsense corporate looking say your site should not look overly corporate. It should look professional. Then you should have good branding, a coherency in your typography, your colors, your off colors. Things should look good. And then you have should excellent user interface is paramount. Are the right things in front of the right people? That's super important, right? So that's the core of your website. It's the core of your social media profiles and your advertising. As you move up, you have what it says. All of your messaging must be super clear and concise. A paragraph is your enemy. And yet, you should use headers, subheaders. And if people lean in, there should be concise value propositional information, which leads us to the second thing is that it should be customer focused messaging. It shouldn't talk about you. It should talk about them, their problems and how you make their life better and what's important to them, the benefits you're delivering to change their life, the outcomes you're trying to actually achieve in their business. And you want to 
touch a little bit on the stakes. If you choose differently, how is it going to be different if you choose us versus somebody else? And that gets into brand scripting. So we do a process here called Donald with Donald Miller's brand scripting and marketing made simple. And then the, and, and that's to there's a coherent bunch of sections you'd want in your website to communicate things. Then you have meaningful calls to action. That's like the checkout counter. You have to have meaningful calls to action so that people know where this is going. Book a consultation, download my free lead magnet, whatever that looks like. Messaging is incredible. So what it looks like, what it says, then you have, how do you build credibility? I'm gonna show you some examples of this. You have to have tons of Google reviews, Facebook reviews, customer reviews. You must have other people saying that you are credible. Number two, you should have testimonials on your website. You should actually have photos of real people with logos and real quotes and videos that point to them. And then three, you should have examples of your work and case studies and show people stuff. And not only that, it shouldn't just be your website. You should be creating content on YouTube, putting the YouTube videos onto your blog post, putting the blog post onto your website, sharing the blog posts across social media, taking those, cutting them up, putting them everywhere. If you do that, you'll build credibility, you'll close more sales, and traffic will actually move in a direction. Then you have what builds authority. Well, if you address content to your niche and actually teach them and be a guide to help them get from here to there, they're going to see that you're actually an authority and they're they're going to lean in with you. Number two, you can do lead magnets in exchange. You should create content that really solves a problem that they would give you an email for or lean in a little bit closer. Video sales letters. You need to have videos on your website that explain and have the conversation that you'd hope to have in person right there with a video. It's incredibly important. Then you have funnels with nurturing. That's emails and getting people in your list. I like to use HubSpot and you keep track of people and and drip on them and say hi to them and add value to them and stay front and center with them. Don't spam them with some newsletter from some third party with a bunch of noise of, of CPA articles. Don't do that. Connect with them. Help them. Show them the content you're building. And then last, retargeting content as you stay in front of them that will build authority. This is what you need to do to actually build a high converting website. Now let's talk about the advertising that I really like. Now at the core, I got to hit on this real quick. At the core, we're going to go through what marketing works, but I want to just talk about sales versus marketing. Your best outcomes will come from your sales activity. You are 80% sales, 20% uh, execution, specifically in the first five years of your firm. As you go about, you have to get a lot of clients. You have to get a lot of prospects so that you get a lot of meetings, so that you get a lot of clients. You have to prospect. Now, if you commit to talking to legit prospects 10 a day for 190 days, that will get you to about 1,500 people that you've connected with. If you close and get a meeting with just eight of those, so if you called 100 people, you got eight meetings, and then a quarter of those actually became customers, which is pretty realistic, right? Then you would be able to hit a real successful thing. You have to, you should cold call people. You should be networking. You should be introducing yourself. You should be teaching. And if you can't do that, you should be doing it via uh, video. That's the next thing. So I just want you to know there's a difference between sales and marketing. I'm going to hit on what marketing works, but sales must be part of what you do. So in the beginning, you, and no matter what, you should commit between two to 12% of your budget to advertising here. And the core advertising is paid search or search. You have to do paid search when you first begin because you don't have any SEO. You're not going to get found until you have a million, a ton more reviews than everybody else. Your site's been up for a while. You're going to have to rely on paid search. And even there, if you want to expand outside of your regional area or the niche that you've built up, you're going to have to use paid search. So using a paid Google ad so that when people search bookkeeper near me, tax accountant near me, whatever that looks like, you're going to pop up and you can control that. Then the second thing is, is once they've hit your website, here's usually how it goes. We're going to remarket to them. And what is remarketing? We're going to make a list on Google, on Facebook, on Twitter, and TikTok. You're probably not going to be able to do all those because it gets expensive. But the idea is, is once they've been to your website, usually what happens is they're like, all right, I go on about my life. And I don't do anything that day. 95% of the people that come to a website don't do anything. And you have to stay in front of them. Well, what's cool is Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, Google, all these, they give us a tool to stay in front of them. So we create these remarketing audiences. And then we can create these small campaigns that stay in front of just the people who've been to our website. And that's called retargeting or remarketing. So imagine I went and looked around accountants near me. I'm in Lakeville. I hit on my website. Now, when I go to the bathroom and I pull up Facebook or if I go watch my smart television, all of a sudden what pops up 
is some ads and some video and some Google display. When I go to care11.com, my local news website, all of a sudden a Google display ad is right there reminding me, oh yeah, that's right, Feedback Ranch. I want to go to Feedback Ranch. That's going to keep you front and center. Again, this is how you close more business deals. Number two, you want to do lead magnets or really good helpful content, like actual helpful content, in and, and then nurture them. So the idea is you give away a free book that really helps them or a list and then you can either email them to stay in front of them or you can just have remarketing that is in front of them. But the idea is you want to stay in front of them next. And this is what's most important, second most important, because with lead magnets, we can use social and we can pierce a niche, right? We can get in front of very distinct groups of people, right? We can get in front of the, the HVAC professionals out there. We can get in front of the people who've gone to carpentry school. We can get in fr front of people who got their CDL license. We can get in front of CPAs, right? We can target these groups of people if we want to with social, but then you have to pique their curiosity with a lead magnet about how you significantly change their life so that they see that you would actually, that the grass is greener with you. It has to be a real pain point. So it's overpaying in taxes. It's wasting time. It's like exposing their lazy accountant. It has to be something spicy or helpful where they'd want to give up their email. Then the next thing is, and this could move into the middle, this is sales. So personal outreach, as you network and cold call and email, what you should be doing is sending them an email, right? So a cold email could look like, hey, uh, is this Joe's Concrete? Hey, Joe. Hey, my name's Rob. I'm right here in Lakeville. I own my own little business. I'm an accountant. I do business accounting. I was wondering, could I just send you an email and introduce myself? We do like proactive tax planning and bookkeeping. Um, I don't know, would it be all right if I just sent you an email to introduce myself? Uh, sure, cool, what's your email? You get his email, you send him an email, and then what happens is they're going to see your remarketing. Not only that, but you have their email and you can put them in a nurturing where all you, I wouldn't spam them, they didn't opt into your email, but I would reach out to them periodically and just, hey, just wanted to make sure that you're, you're good, and maybe you do some events, right? Maybe you go and go pheasant hunting, or you do a lunch and learn, or you just have a happy hour, inviting to the chamber thing or whatever that is, right? The idea is you build relationships, you, you prospect. They also hit your remarketing and your nurturing. The next thing would be content marketing. So content marketing would be blog posts and it'd be videos a lot like this. The idea is, is they will rank, they will get in front of the right people. And as they do that, you'll get clients from it. And then the last thing I think is social media posting engagement. The reason why I put this last, it is super powerful. You could build a business on social media, but if you're like me, I'm not funny enough, I'm not good looking enough, hopefully I'm helpful enough where people will actually look at this stuff. But for the most part, social media posts have an incredible short lifespan. You have to stay really active, you have to engage in it, and it can consume your soul, let alone all your time. So if you do this, this is what's gonna lead to the best situation. So for us, we do four services. We do strategy and messaging. We build amazing websites. So we do the homework for you. When you get with these other guys, like, all right, tell me what you want the website to say. No, we understand your customer. We help you with this. This is, this is huge. We do custom websites. Our websites are beautiful. We do paid ads and lead generation. So we will set up a funnel that's just like this, right? And when you come to my website, you go up to the pricing, we have some really good packages to make this really easy. So we have kind of a small, medium, and large. And essentially what this is, you either do the upfront package or to help it be more affordable, we do six monthly payments, okay? And essentially what this is, is we have, we have an 11-step process for our website and our writing and everything that we'll bring you through. We do a deep search engine optimization. We will build you a fantastic website. I'm gonna show you a couple of these in just a minute. We do all the writing, all the strategy, all the building. The whole site is totally set up. As you move up here, for $2,000 more, what you get is we're going to set up your marketing machine, which is setting up conversions and audiences for remarketing. But then we hook up what's called the conversion actions to Google, to Facebook, to TikTok, to everything. And what that will do is it will allow you to run AI-assisted or machine learning-based advertising. Basically, you're saying when you fill this form out, download this lead magnet or click on this phone number, that's my conversion. Then what happens is over time, Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, all these systems, their AI learns who are the types that tend to be customers and do that action. And then what happens is they start making bets on your behalf to actually close. You will have a significantly higher 
conversion rate as you do it for conversions rather than just running for clicks. There are different types of campaigns. So we set that up and we set up your analytics so you can monitor and see what's happening. And then we will actually create your core search ads and we'll create your core Facebook, Google display, retargeting ads. And now we're doing a lot more on Twitter too. Um, so this is us setting it up and you sit back, you're going to have to spend on advertising. I usually tell people you got to spend between 500 and 2,500 bucks a month to just have that on. And just remember where you're trying to head with this. There is a place where you're done being 80, 20 sales and you go 80, 20, 80% of your effort will now be put towards client satisfaction and 20% to running new meetings because the referral thing will kick in. If you get enough Google reviews, if you build up the way we want you to, you're going to rank in SEO, you're going to get referrals and you will become the 10 ton gorilla in your region where every HVAC, plumber, concrete, home service, realtor, everybody will have a choice to connect with you. I, I do recommend keeping your remarketing on because people just want to close. So that's kind of our middle package. Again, 1300 bucks a month for six months. We will set this up and get you going. Or over here, what we'll do is we'll create a script and we will create three to four video bumper ads. And if you're local here in the Minneapolis Twin Cities area, we'll actually come and record you. So for 2000 bucks more, you'll have YouTube bumper ads. So those show up before and after a video. And then we'll also have YouTube discovery ads. Folks, that's how you close more clients. You have a setup like that, but you got to go sell. You got to run your meetings. Check out our other content. Like and subscribe if this is helpful. Good luck. God bless. I'd love if I actually, the more comments I get, the better. Challenge me where you think I'm wrong. Ask questions if you, if you want any help. But contact us and please help these videos go further to more people so that they discover the power of entrepreneurship and specifically more accountants, CPAs, and bookkeepers can get to know how to build a successful business. We're super excited about that. We'd love to help you.